We always look forward to Knoxville. This is the first time we've gone there and we're going to have fresh motors, or actually I'm getting them. Uh, we're going to have almost brand new motors. I think every other time we've gone there, we've kind of had, we've had used cars, uh, used motors, and I think I've only gone there one time and haven't had a motor blow up, rear end blow up, or something like that. So um, I feel like our parts are pretty fresh. The last time we ran Knoxville for a, a regular show, World of Outlaw show at, at Knoxville, uh, we ran eighth and not eighth and ninth or eighth and tenth or something like that so um, we were half decent the last time we were there so I feel like we learned some things and we're looking forward to going back. I, right now I have good confidence going into Nationals. Uh, it is the biggest race of the year and uh, you know your qualifying night has like 50 some cars you know maybe 60 uh, but they're the best of the best so you know you just got to go in there and make sure uh, everything's gonna perform right with your car and you know you're not gonna have a DNF because of a motor or a part you know malfunction or anything like that and for myself I just be on top of my game and just uh, just focus really hard about what's going on and see what's going on and hopefully my car feels really good you know right out the box but... wow, Yeah, I mean, it, definitely we were close lots of times, and it took a while to, to get there. But it was it was nice to finally get one, and I was hoping that um, it should start clicking, and maybe you know some more will come. But um, this deal's hard. You know, I haven't been running as well as what I wanted to lately. We've had some good, some good runs, and then other nights we just seem like we're off the pace. So um, we're getting we're getting. We, I still feel like we're getting better and better though, and we're you know we have a lot to learn, but at the same time we keep getting faster. It's when he won that race, he's a you know big time underdog. We hear a lot from fans about how it was their favorite nationals and uh, how they'll never forget it because you know it's an underdog winning and they wouldn't uh, you know wouldn't expect him winning, especially with Steve there. You know Steve was dominating then. Doug Wolfgang, uh, Sammy was right there with him at the end. So um, and, and we're definitely still the underdog team you know going into Knoxville this year. So. I think it's just a really cool thing you know to know that my dad has won it in a sense. I guess it gives you some sort of like confidence because. The guy who owns our team has won the nationals, and uh, you know he knows the track, and he might get, you know, he's got something where he can give you a good car, and you know, just put you somewhere where you feel good and have confidence as soon as you hit the track, and you trust him, and you believe in him, and he's a great guy to believe and trust. So that's just a really cool thing, and uh, you know, it's special. And you know, for me personally, it is, uh, it's a big deal to me because I'd love to put my name you know alongside my dad on the nationals and uh, that would just you know that's that's a goal for me in my racing career to be able to do that and you know be alongside my dad and have that as a win. These guys are no slouches and uh, they definitely know what's going on and uh, they're good, so you gotta be on your A game at all time, and that's one of the places you definitely wanna make sure you're on top of your game at every time you hit the track. But that that's how it should be anytime you race. So I look at it no different, it's just a bigger stage.